Welcome back to Snatcher. And on our last edition, we took a sketch to two of the most likeliest of suspects. And now, we're going to the second suspect. And on top of that, Sure, we got that. Let's go. Now, another thing I forgot to tell you was that if you didn't call Jamie at least once, you would not be able to find those two people that you were looking for. So, since we did that, we went to Freddy's apartment. No, we, we went to Ivan's. We went to Ivan's, so. Let's go to Freddy's. All right, now heading to Freddy Nielsen's apartment. We've arrived at Freddie Nielsen's apartment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Out we go. This is Freddie Nielsen's building. According to the data, he lives on the second floor apartment 202. No, this is our last suspect. Will he be the one we're looking for? apartment 202 second floor right let's head up this is it apartment 202 don't forget what happened at Ivan's be very careful getting in There's no answer. Maybe no one's home. I wonder if someone's in there. Yeah, somebody's in there. But we're gonna have to look or investigate a few times, so let's look at these things. It says 202 Freddy and Lisa Nielsen. door is locked. The door has a peephole. There's no mistake. This is definitely Nielsen's apartment. Nielsen appears on the nameplate. The nameplate has an IC chip for data confirmation purposes. There is no mistake. I read motion. Someone's inside. Knock again. No answer. I wonder if he's really not home. Someone's in there. I definitely picked up motion. Keep knocking then. There's no answer. Maybe they cannot hear us. They'll answer.
Who is it? I heard a voice. Hey in there! Open up! I'm a junker! I've got a few questions to ask you! with the Junker Agency. Is this the home of Freddie Nielsen? Yes, it is. And you are... I'm his wife. If you guys can see what I can see, something smells right hand in Denmark. Exactly, what can I do for you? Um, pretty good looking. Well, investigator, you have good taste in money. What's with that look on your face? You don't believe me, do you? If you want to scan me, you'll have to show me a scanning warrant. With w without one of those, junkers can't scan civilians. I know the law. A little too well, yes. have reason to believe that your husband is a suspect? As a matter of fact, we are investigating your husband on the suspicion that he may be a snatcher. Freddy? Freddy a snatcher? That's ridiculous. I can't believe that. What? My husband a snatcher? Where did you get a story like that? I have a montage photo I'd like you to look at. Can I take a look at that? That's my husband. I can't believe my husband is a snatcher. There must be some mistake. That's why we need you. Tell us about your husband. He's out right now. I'm not sure what time he'll be back. Have you noticed anything strange about your husband lately? Well, now that you mention it. Lately, he hasn't been in the mood to, well, you know. Could you be more specific? Fuck, man. Fuck. You see, he drives a manned taxi, but lately he's been taking walks at night without going to work. Walks at night? About that recent behavior, well, now that you mention it, he has been acting a little strangely, but a snatcher. Have you noticed any changes in your husband's body or health lately? No. His appetite's as big as ever. 
No, nothing. How about a skin? Anything odd? A skin? Well, I haven't seen much of it lately, but I'm sure it's fine. Your husband is a taxi driver, right? Is it one of those underground cabs? Black taxi? Are you trying to frighten me? So it is a black taxi, right? Yes, he drives a black taxi, but so what? They will probably be legalized in April, right? So what's the problem? That's not what we're worried about, ma'am. If your husband is a black taxi driver, then there are no records of his working hours, right? In other words, the only way to establish an alibi for him is to use a by the testimony of others. What's this? There's some kind of map on the wall. Investigate that. This is a map of the city of Moscow. Moscow, huh? That place has been little more than a ghost town since the catastrophe. Yes, but this map was no doubt produced before the catastrophe. So, about the meaning of the map. What's this map? I don't really know. My husband bought it and stuck it there about four months ago. Have you experienced any sneezing lately? Even though you don't have a cold? Sneezing? I haven't had a cold yet this year. This montage photo was produced using a computer from the testimony of witnesses at a nightclub. Well, that does look like my husband, so... Rather nice room. Well, Captain Tidy. There's nothing on the wall besides the map. This map just doesn't seem to go with the rest of the interior, does it? see anything unusual. It could be just a coincidence, of course.
All these questions are rather annoying. I've had this bad toothache since this morning, you know. supposed to go even though it's at the bathroom um, where I've just gotten the place cleaned up don't go making a mess in here I'm in very good health what does that have to do with anything On Thursday around 8 p.m., was your husband at home or working? Uh, Thursday? Oh, that's right. That was one of his days off. He was home. He was watching the launch of the first colonial expe expedition to Mars, the Beagle Jerusalem on TV. Are you sure about that? Yes, but that evening I went over to a friend's house. I wasn't with him all night. My friend, my friend's brother is the pilot of the Beagle, you know. Hmm. This isn't enough to prove that our Freddy Nielsen is a snatcher. True. Without more evidence, we cannot get a scanning warrant. Now, we'd like to take a look at your bathroom, if you don't mind. There we go. Oh, you need to use the bathroom? No, we'd like to investigate your bathroom. Really? Whatever. Please, go right ahead. This is Freddy's bathroom. You know why I'm safe staying? Because you could never tell. Go right ahead. Check anything you want. I'll be out here. There's no faucet. This is unusual bathtub. Rather awful. It's just a bathtub, isn't it? A very attractive bathroom and sparkling clean. It's filled with water. Look, you can see your reflection in the mirror. Jeez, I've always been such a handsome devil. Wait a minute. Haven't we seen that bottle someplace before? That's the same container as the one we found at John's. All right, I will analyze the contents of the bottle. There's no mistake, this is sunscreen. Sunscreen in the middle of the winter, eh? It looks like it's been recently used, too. There's no mistake. Freddy Nielsen is a snatcher. Gillian, with this much evidence, there will be no difficulty getting a scanning warrant. We've got you now, snatcher scum. 
So, you figured it out, huh? Who's that? Oh, shit. Know all about us, do you, Junker? That... that wound... John did that to her. Die, Junker! Headshots. Jeez, those things don't go down easy. So, this is a snatcher, huh? I certainly hope it's dead. Now, a little thing to note, um... In any other version of this game, she will not be dressed. It appears to be dead. Damn! Those things are tough as hell! Its functions appear to have been completely terminated. The skin tissue we found under Gibson's nails came from this woman, huh? So it was Lisa and Freddy who killed John. Freddy, that's right. So where's he? We can contact the junk collection team later. Let's get out of this apartment for now. We're outside now. What the? A light just came on. There's not supposed to be anybody in there. Perhaps Freddy has returned. There's only one entrance, and we're standing right next to it. How did he get in there? Shall we investigate? The door is locked. That's funny, I could have sworn it wasn't locked. This is a standard electronic lock. I can open this without too much difficulty. This appears to be the only way in or out of the apartment. In this case, you gotta do whatever it takes. It's an electronic lock. Someone must have activated it. There we go. I'm reading motion. Someone is in there. I don't see Freddy anywhere. There's no sign of anyone in this room. It's in the same condition as it was a few minutes ago. It hasn't been touched. I'm not picking up any sounds. There's nothing on my infrared sensors either. He 
doesn't appear to be in this room. There we go. Motion. I read motion coming from the bathroom. Metal. You ready? Let's go! Okay. This is, this is Freddy's bathroom. Try that again. Huh? The bathtub is empty. That thing was filled with water just a few minutes ago. I read motion. This room. Damn. Top middle. I've had it. Gillian? Oh! Okay. Had to make sure that was right. That was close. You're lucky I was here to save your skin. Who are you? Me? Random Haji. Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter? Yes, Gillian. A bounty hunter. As the Junker profession is so dangerous, their numbers have fallen dramatically over the past few years. As a result, the government decided to put a price on Snatcher's heads in order to encourage private citizens to cooperate in the effort to track them down. Naturally, these bounty hunters must register with the authorities. You said your name's Brandon, right? Now what did you do? Follow me here? Yeah, you got it. Investigations aren't my style. You track them down, I pick them up. You have the legal obligation to state your bounty hunter registration number. Please do so now, immediately. <sighs> BH75001 Random Hajil. That's R-A-N-D-O-M-H-A-J-I-L-E. BH75001 Random Hajil. That's confirmed. I officially recognize you as a legal bounty hunter. Wow. Gillian, records indicate that he has already disposed of three snatchers just this month. Counting wow. Freddy, that Great. makes four. Four? I've been at this a lot longer than you have. Just relax, rookie. So, Junker Boy, let me give you a little tip. You might already know, but snatchers' weak point is their artificial skin. If they sit out in the sun too long, they get cancer. That's why they set up a hospital to treat this little problem of theirs. You find it, you can take them out, roots and all. Where did you get all your information? Wait a sec. You stole it from Gibson, didn't you? That's not really important. But now that Gibson's out of the picture, I need you to get busy. I track them down and you jump them. Is that the idea? Anyhow, it seems Gibson found that hospital. He must have left behind some information about it. What do you mean, seems? Don't you know anything about it? Hey, investigations are your job, right? I owe you one, Random. Yeah, I'll get it out of you later. See ya, Junker Boy. A snatcher control hospital, eh? There's bound to be more than a few of them in there. And with that, we're at the end of Act 1. What I'd like to say... 
course I would. Overwrite, please. Yes. So, with that, I made my save and double on that. And that means we've end on a good note because we just finished Act 1 of Snatcher. And coming up next will be Act 2 in which um, more explanation will be explained and then some and who knows, we're probably going to get more Snatchers in the long run and probably find out what the hell else is going on. So until next time, join me when we jump back into the cyberpunk thriller world of Snatcher. Stay tuned for our next part when we start up Act 2. Thanks for watching.